Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Aries, you're going to see what's going on for the month of July. Let's look at your general messages. I don't know why I'm feeling like really smiley right now. There's somebody who wants to take, I don't know, there may be a chance that you take in the month of July. Something about birds of a feather flock together. There may be something that happens by chance in July or somebody took a chance. Could have been like a peer pressure thing. Something about earbuds could be significant too in the month of July. Maybe you're gonna get some new ones. I feel like there's good news coming to you. I'm not sure which way it's coming from. It could come from a fire sign it could be about a trip or a home it could take you away from home whatever this is but some of you may be feeling like I need to stay where I am because things may be unsteady wherever that is, wherever that opportunity is. Let me see something, Aries. So be careful of someone who may be trying to tempt you in a certain direction in the month of July. Whatever this decision is could affect the relationships in your life, be it your colleagues, platonic. It doesn't feel romantic, but it could be that too. Just be aware of your friendship circles, your, your social circles in the month of July. You're strong enough to endure whatever this is, Aries. But I feel like you're going to be finding out who's who in the month of July. I really feel like a lot of your dreams are coming true, but things need to be weeded out first before you get to wherever you're going. And for some of you, this is about money. Like whatever your financial dreams are, you're getting there, you're getting close, or they're about to come true in the month of July. But there's some things that you're going to have to... It's like you got to get all of the fake people out of your way or whatever the bad energies are away from you. Don't be led astray in the month of July. This is about you staying where you feel safe. It's almost like when they, um, whenever they tell like young kids or young girls, you know, stay where it's populated, stay near crowds of people. That are, there's something like that here for you, Aries. I can't really describe what I'm saying. I'm sorry about the dog, honey. You need to stay, I don't know if this is around your true friends. I don't know if this is around family, your community. Don't allow yourself to be isolated by someone. Like you can send them, you know, I wish you well. <laughs> I wish you the best, all of that, but don't go there. <laughs> There's something like that here, Aries. Pray for them. 
but I feel like wherever there's, wherever things are more abundant is where your fulfillment is. You're going to have to do a lot of weeding out. Maybe it's just one thing. Maybe it's two things. Maybe it's a whole lot of stuff, Aries, but you're going to have to weed some things out in the month of July. Many of you are not sure where it is that you're heading. Or maybe you're starting to become, maybe it's starting to become more clear to you. Your direction. You definitely got dreams though. I see that and I see that your heart is in whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve. And I see that your intentions are coming from a very pure place when it comes to that. You do have a free spirit. You're willing to jump on the opportunities that come your way, but they have to be the right ones. And you do that. You make those decisions intuitively. Or maybe you will be coming into that in the month of July. <clears throat> see... Try to see everyone through the eyes of love in the month of July and everything will go smoother for you. Like, just keep it at the forefront of your mind. I'm not saying you got to be in love with the person, but just like, if I loved you, how would I handle this situation? Something like that. Like, seeing through the malice and the jealousy and the competitiveness or whatever anybody's throwing at you in the month of July, seeing through that and saying, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Something like that. You know, let's get to the point. And I feel like that's what a lot of Aries like to do anyway. Let's get to the point. <laughs> Whenever you feel that you've started to choose fear, choose love. You have you have the opportunity, even if it's in a split second, to choose love in any given moment, Aries. You can witness the darkness and call on the light with anything. It doesn't matter what you do, where you are, where you're from. You just have to remain in gratitude Ask for guidance to be able to perceive the fear that you may be feeling, you know, that you, be, that you may be experiencing. How do I transmute this into love in this moment? Because it's the only thing that can conquer fear. But you have to strengthen your intentions and the way that you're going to be able to do that it's like the more that there's strength and conviction in your intentions, the more that strengthens your faith, the more fearless you become. Something like that. If there's something that's been like, I don't know, it could be a decision that's plaguing you or just whatever it is, areas that may be causing fear within you, this is your time to shine, you know? You should be fearless, honey, it's summertime. And the way that you, I feel like in the month of July, you're going to be practicing a lot of self-love. Remind yourself to do this. Schedule it in. It is of the most importance, okay? Aries, you have to, you got two cards about unplugging. Making sure that you're including self-love and relaxation into your schedule as if it were your job to do so. I feel like a lot of you have been working very hard, so... Make sure that you are doing that, Aries. Let's look at your cards.
So for some of you, there may be some cancellations or maybe you won't be going. Uh, you won't be going on a trip. You may make a decision not to go on a trip, something like that, Aries. Or you may decide to stop investing in something or moving towards something. For some of you, I feel like it may be out of your control. For some of you, um, I think you just want some alone time. <laughs> I think you just want to be home. So a lot of you may be like turning down invitations to go places or to do jobs. So is there something that you're moving on from? You don't want to be around them or it or it's like it's less stress for you and I feel like it just creates this feeling of waiting for you and I don't think you it's like you're not in love with it so what's the point holding back from saying that you don't want to do this or that you would like to end this and you're going to feel more empowered when you just say it Aries because right now you're just leaving the chapter open and it's only causing you grief so say what you got to say I feel like that has to do with these, these messages about fear that are coming up for you the more fearless you are the more free you are something like that You just have to choose love in those moments that you're feeling that fear, Aries. In your love life. <laughs> Damn, it's almost the same thing, Aries. You know... When you unplug yourself, when you're loving on yourself, when, when you feel how good you can make yourself feel and you look at the other person and you say, are you even making me feel as good as I can make me feel? On my budget, on my this, on my that, with my resource? Are you even matching me? Something like that. You gotta stop grieving over this. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say stop grieving over something, but it's like, there's something that I see you putting an end to, Aries. There's an offer. Somebody wants you to come back to them. Okay, so this could be that person's energy. I feel like you, what is this? So you let go of the relationship. Maybe you found out about something and that's what ended this connection. It's like, I can't work with that. <laughs> so whoever this is, you may have found out that, um, I don't know, they're just not as honest. They're not honest. They're not an honest person. They had someone. But there may be somebody else that can't stop thinking about how things could have been. It's like somebody hasn't um, made things right with you. Is this someone else? Maybe they weren't single or available at the time, but this is somebody who loves you.
and they want to come back and try to make peace with whatever reason you two fell out, which could have ended badly or... There was deception here. Ooh, I heard waiting your turn. So this was somebody who was like on some other shit, Aries. You felt like you had to protect yourself from this person. They don't want nothing, Aries. Keep it, keep, keep it pushing. Whoever that is, I don't know. You weeding out the bullshit. You weeding out the bullshit this 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 summer. All the smoke shows, honey. You just coming in with your air blower and just blowing all the smoke out the room. Bring them out. <laughs> Cause I don't need no more stress. I don't need no more lies. I don't want to wonder what you're doing. I don't want to know why it feels different today. I don't know one. I don't want to know why you're apologizing. I don't know. I don't want to know why you bought that. <laughs> just take that shit somewhere else. Too many bad memories connected to whoever you've been dealing with, <laughs> Aries. There's more than one person here. Um, these could just be a series of choices in love. And <laughs> Aries are very good for being like, I don't like any of you anymore. La la la. <laughs> and just skip to the loo, my darling, on somewhere else. I mean, do it. <laughs> do it however you want to do it, Aries. <sighs> you know, only you know what's fair in the situation. It's like you, you know, call call people out for the shit that they do. If it's not right for you, it's not right for you. Say that. Don't wait for it. Don't make room for it no more. If they haven't grown up yet, you don't want to raise them. And by him, I mean them. Masculine or feminine energy. It's just not enough. And it's like, why sabotage yourself? Why continue to get your heart broken when you're a good person? Whoever I'm picking up on is like a real person. Somebody who uses their failures in love to succeed in business. Somebody who knows how to transmute their pain into power. And to like fuel to push them forward, you know. Nothing wrong with that. You've attracted a lot of non committal energy. Why is that? Well, you come off, uh, you you have this energy, and it's no fault of yours, Aries, but you have this energy where it's kind of like, I got this. <laughs> and you do. I know. Where Places where people need help, you're like, I got this. It'll be all right. It's like you're able to make your own decisions where as people, they're still trying to decide uh, what's really going on, something like that. It's like you just... You have this blind faith, Aries. Something about like not overthinking things, but I think in love you may have. That may be your Achilles heel. Tie up the loose ends, Aries, so that you can move on. Like, break that shit off. <laughs> That's the work that you need to do to defend yourself from these types of situations that that have no foundation, that give you nothing. You, you end up with nothing. Maybe 30 minutes of pleasure. I don't know. 
I mean, is that enough? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it is, but like for what you really want. Or for how much you're investing. If it's if it's just gonna be a pleasure thing, then don't invest so much. There's something like that. Here. Keep it straight up with these people. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think what you were offering warranted my complete devotion and loyalty. But I'm going to keep it real enough with you to let you know anything that might directly affect you. That's all you owe to people who ain't offering you shit, Aries. <laughs> You're in the driver's seat when it comes to your career. Don't allow your mind to... Take you to a place. I don't that fear. God is not giving you the spirit of fear, but He has given unto you the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind to make sound decisions for your sound self. Okay, Aries. So don't let the devil play with your head. Basically. Remember that you're in control. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. You know. To tie up their loose ends with whatever the hell they got going on. There could be a couple who maybe they're not together anymore, but they still work together. Something about they want to not <laughs> work together anymore or things have maybe gotten out of control a bit. There's some emotional rockiness, but, you know, things are unclear. I don't know. It's like a codependency here. I hold on for the money. But there's something here that's weird. Mm -hmm. And it's not being talked about. Or there's no clarity or end in sight when it comes to that. Don't let what somebody else is not saying when it comes to your job or your career affect your power. You are who you are. If you don't trust them, make room for something else, Aries. Protect yourself. If it doesn't feel right, let that shit go. Easier said than done, but you you know, you can start making steps. The moment that you see that something ain't for you, you can start making those steps because you show you're showing up as the emperor. You say what goes. You take you remember who you are, you practice that self-love. Take the necessary time to relax because you're you you um what is it? You are the ruler of the head, Aries. So some of you may be excellent chess players. And in order to keep your head in the right place, you have to rest. Okay? So that you can continue to feed your brain, right? So what this is saying is you'll remain in charge when it comes to your career, no matter what the hell is going on in the background, whatever the noise is, you'll be able to remain in control because you have the Emperor, the Will of Fortune, the Four Swords, Nine of Cups, and Justice. <laughs> I mean, you're on, the, you're on the right side of karma. Let's just say that. And you do that by not worrying about that what's going on in the background. You're just worrying about you. Really, all you got to do is stay happy while all this shit is going on over here. All you got to do is stay happy and be you. And I feel like a lot of people may envy you for the fact that it seems like you just, I don't know. It's going to resolve itself though. Someone's selfishness or greed May come to the surface. Or some kind of like <laughs> information about a relationship may come to a surface. Something may be too much for someone to carry. Ah, something is draining. There could be somebody. Well, who is this going to?
The energy of the of some couple, Aries. These two may be married or in contract together. Something like that. that it, 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 that's the reason why they couldn't give to a situation with you. But something's about to come crumbling down and somehow it all works in your favor. I have no idea what that's about. Y'all don't have to tell me in the comments. Before I go too deep into that. Out of the way, Aries, I see you over there. The only thing you're going to have to do is be yourself. Stay in control. Because if you let somebody take your mind, then that there goes your day. There goes your mood. There goes your everything. So as long as you're taking the time to take care of your mind, knowing where it is that you want to go, I think you'll be fine in July. <laughs> Advice for career in July. Don't overthink it. Take breaks. Do your affirmations. Stay in gratitude. Yoga. Meditate. Be thankful. <sighs> breathe in. Breathe out. Like, Take breaks from your thoughts sometimes. Sometimes it's just too much going on up there. Aries. I'm not seeing new love right now. There's some things that you're going to have to work on forgiving. I feel like forgiving yourself for believing that somebody was the one for you. And once you forgive yourself for that, you start telling yourself how much you deserve the real thing. Or whatever it is that you're desiring, Aries. You do deserve it. You're going to attract somebody that you're not going to have to, like, look out for red flags for once you release this person from your life. You've given someone enough chances, Aries. Where is it that you want to go? I have retreat and reconciliation in the reverse, Aries. Somebody that you should not be dealing with no more. You should not be... You know, giving this person as much energy as you probably giving them. You probably still feel like you two have chemistry. This is not your soulmate. Love yourself first, Aries. I feel like if you gave something else a chance, you would see why this isn't it. Remember you, Aries. All July long, remember you. Where are you heading, Aries? Where do you want to go? Goddess of love travels her path with courage and certainty. Her story tells of loss and burden, but with patience and compassion and determination, she found her way back to the path of love. She knows her direction and travels it, overcoming the obstacles in her way. She comes to ask you if you are certain on your path and direction in which you are heading. With guidance, she encourages you to take a look backwards to see how far you have come to look forward to see what lies ahead. Are you going the way that you really want to go? If you could travel or take any path, which would it be? With the bird song around her, she may help you see the truth in your dreams and the bright way ahead. She rides with you now so that you too can have the courage to ride the path to dare to dream when obstacles lie in your way she gives you the strength to overcome them and the courage and kindness and patience are you carrying baggage from your past <laughs> we all are in some way that is holding you back and weighing you down listen to her whisper she may be imploring you to set it down it has been carried long and far enough. Set it down gently now with a smile 
so that you can ride your path with courage and love in your heart. She will be riding with you. The affirmation for this card is, I let go of all that holds me back and I am free to go in the direction of my dreams. I fill my heart with love for myself and all fellow beings. Aries. I hope this helped. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.